Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Wicked Gamer Rank Collector. So in this video, we are going to do this, let's say, overview of the Battletron gaming kit for your PC. So this is a very awesome, but also a very good budget way to play awesome games on your PC. So if you're searching for a mousepad and speakers for, an, let's say, a keyboard, you name it, they got it. I purchased this from the action store here so for the people in europe we can find this on the action store but there are many ways i even found some of these products on ebay for example but nevertheless let's do a little quick unboxing in the chit chat i also did some dutch reviews so if you're dutch like me you can also check the dutch reviews nevertheless let's go so we are going to begin this video with the gaming keyboard so the gaming keyboard was 6 euro 95 this is the cheapest game board i ever bought in my life but that's the question how does it feel so let's do a little unboxing and this is what you're going to get it's quite basic i must say i really like the touch of the keyboard so it's pretty basic uh, it's just my brain keyboard the led function is also pretty basic so it's not really special but yeah what can we expect for 6 euro 95 so with LEDs, uh, the lighter feature, this is what you're going to get, a couple of colors, you can turn it on and off, but I don't know, or I didn't find out any way to change the colors itself. They claim they have different colors, but it's pretty strange, I couldn't find anything in the manual or the box itself. This is what you're going to get, a cheap board with LEDs. The next product we have in the gaming mouse this is the budget edition is also very cheap but the question is what we're going to get is just a basic huge mouse with led light up feature so very curious how this thing is going to play also we're going to do an extended review if you want to of this or you can check the dutch channel it feels quite nice it feels very nice it's a little bit big for my hands here at this part it, if you're having smaller hands it will be an issue but on overall if you feel the touch it's just a cheap budget mouse but i think if you're just searching for a quick and maybe cheap solution this can be a very nice mouse for you it's just a little bit similar like the gaming mouse i've reviewed here on the channel in the past let's say the mouse you buy from aliexpress for four or five euro so this is what you're going to get and it will not get any better so for a cheap way or solution to play games it's just awesome but if you're searching for some better stuff you need to search a little bit further I must say the light up feature is very nice and it's very colorful and even very bright. So we have this RGB light up feature that does a little bit fading, fade out in different colors. There's no way so far I know for adjusting it. So what you see is what you're going to get. So the next mouse is also a budget mouse, but this is more like the professional budget mouse or I really love to call it. So this thing needs to be a little bit more professional or better quality. It's also very cheap. I think there is a couple of euro differences between the previous model I've re reviewed and showed and this version. Look at the form factor, it's totally different and also we're having two buttons extra. It looks a little bit more comfy and that is something we're going to find out. So let's try it out, let's see how it feels. Yeah, the first thing that I'm noticing, this thing is way more comfortable in my, my hand. I've got just normal size adult hands. If you're having very big hands, maybe the previous model would be a little bit better for you. But if you look at the clicks, of course, it feels a little bit cheap or it sounds quite cheap, but it's a cheap budget mouse. But if you compare it with the different, different mouse I've reviewed and especially the previous budget edition, yeah, this is way better. I can tell you that. The question is, how is the light of feature? So if it comes to the light of feature, this is a little bit differently than the previous one. The other one was more like a freaking Christmas tree and this thing is just, yeah, it's got a light up feature and it looks very slick and very cool. So that is something that I can really appreciate with this mouse. All right, so the funny thing is when I was working in the store, this was the first product that I grabbed from the Battletron 
um, gaming line. I really wanted to have a mousepad with LED and the thing is pretty cheap. I was thinking, what are we going to get with this? Is this even a decent mousepad? So looking at this, it looks amazing. Very thick, four millimeters thick. And what I really like about it, at the edge, we're having this LED function. So if you can see it, you can just bend it. So it, I'm guessing it will not break very easily. So it feels very nice. So in general, it's a very cool product. And here you can see you need to put in the USB micro or micro USB connection for activating the LED function. To be honest, I really love this LED function. It's now on the fade in, fade out function, but we're having seven different colors and some extra options. So if you want to adjust it, you can just simply press a button and can adjust it. So in general, I really like the result. And combined with one of these mouses, it looks pretty damn cool. All right, so that brings us to the Battletron speakers. It's a very long time that I bought some speakers and this is just a basic stereo set, not with a subwoofer, a 2.1 if they're calling it, if I'm saying it correctly. So this gaming speaker set can be a fun upgrade if you just have a laptop or you just have a PC with a monitor without any speaker inside, because that happens nowadays very often. So it's just a basic two times three watts. As you can see here, it's got a quite a big magnet on the speaker. It's just an, oops, it's stuck. But it is just great little speaker inside this cabinet. And this weight's quite heavy, to be honest. All right, so it also got LEDs, so that would be very cool. We're going to connect it to the laptop and I'm going to give you a small sample how they are going to sound. Alright, so there was a little bit of an overview, I hooked it up all, let's bring it together and just let's play some games and let's see how it plays. Ready for battle! Alright, so I must say it plays very nice. I really like the keyboard, the touch of it, and the mouse click is just great. Yeah, it's all fun and games From budget loses an kit eye. like this, I am very impressed. Alright, let's play a little bit of Serious Sam. And what I also noticed with the speaker, even because of it's a tiny, very tiny speaker, it's still very loud. The mid and high is very good. It's still got a tiny little bit of bass, but for the money and for the little speaker, this is what we're going to get. Yeah, baby! Alright, so this is a very long time that I play this game. Orcs must die. Uh, I'm calling it, this thing had a sequel. Nevertheless, this is more like a um, uh, tower defense and shooter combination. It's a very cool game. But again, I just wanted to play some random games with the keyboard and to show you how it works. Alright, so this was more like a quick overview of the product. In general, I'm pretty excited about this because it's very budget but it works like a charm so i can do some more english extended reviews of the product if you like i also did some dutch videos so if you're from the netherlands like me you can also check the dutch channel where i upload videos i want to thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channels yes to the channels because i have multiple the channels i have also a gaming channel and dutch channel and of course this one nevertheless thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and it will be great to see you in the next one.